He appeared to be keenly interested in our organization, our objectives, and what we're doing. We pointed out to him the nature of the Urban Coalition as a grassroots organization, an organization that links the public and the private sector, works closely not only with federal agencies but with local government, an organization that links the diverse elements of the private sector, business, labor, the minority communities, religion, so on, and an organization that has a very live grassroots network, 39 local coalitions, we're forming new ones at about the rate of one every two weeks, so that we're in a position to move effectively in activating the private sector on those very important programs in which such collaboration is essential. Mr. Nix, we're just drawing up our plans for the coming year, but we will certainly press for full funding of the housing legislation and the Model Cities program and so forth. Uh, we will press for one or another kind of public service employment program. We will press for uh, funding of the education programs uh, and a variety of other matters affecting the cities. We're still very... The big debate between the amount of responsibility. Take it again. Sorry, just a minute. The big debate between the amount of responsibility to be shared by the public and by the private sectors of the economy hopefully will be resolved within the coming months of the new administration. Alan Lido, KTLA News, New York. Let's do that uh, one. The big debate between the amount of the responsibility to be shared by the public and by the private sectors of the economy will be resolved, hopefully, within the first months of the coming administration. Alan Lido, KTLA News, New York. Do it once more. The big debate over the amount of responsibility to be shared by the public and by the private sector of the economy will be resolved within the first months of the Nixon administration. Alan Lido, KTLA News, with President-elect Nixon in New York. America's most Some of America's most important men met with President-elect Nixon this morning to try and solve the problems of some of America's forgotten men. Leaders of the Urban Coalition spent one and a half hours with Mr. Nixon this morning, and afterward, former Health, Education, and Welfare Secretary John Gardner discussed the goals of the coalition. We'll read that once more. Some of America's most important men met with President-elect Nixon this morning to try and solve the problems of some of America's forgotten men. Leaders of the Urban Coalition spent one and a half hours with Mr. Nixon this morning, and later, former Health, Education, and Welfare Secretary John Gardner discussed the goals of the coalition. Young, you want to stand on both sides of back. Uh, gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? Uh, I, each of these gentlemen have a very tight schedule, so we would like to proceed as quickly as possible. The uh, at a very full meeting with President-elect Nixon, and Mr. John Gardner is here to report on that meeting uh, together with uh, Mr. Pat Moynihan. We met with the President-elect for an hour and a half. It was scheduled for an hour. The additional half hour was at his suggestion. I asked a good many questions about the nature of our activities, 
the fronts on which we thought uh, action could be pursued most effectively. He talked with us about some of his own interests and concerns, and we found it a very effective meeting. We talked a good deal about the uh, field of housing. Uh, Mr. David Rockefeller spoke of the task force, of which he co-chairs with Walter Ruther and uh, Joseph Keenan. On that task force is also Edgar Kaiser, Robert Hansberger of Boise Cascade, and a number of other people who have a very strong and long-standing interest in the housing field. We have been in good communication with the National Housing Partnership, the incorporators of the National Housing Partnership, and we discussed the terms in which action might be pursued on that front. Uh, there was talk of the problem of employment, jobs, uh, and uh, there was talk of the ways in which we would collaborate with the administration. Uh, Mr. Nixon described his new Council on Urban Affairs, is that the correct title of it, Pat? And uh, urge that we stay in close touch with that council. Well, we are a private sector organization, essentially, uh, and we will, uh, uh, where our objectives uh, coincide, we will certainly work together uh, and published uh, these objectives on many occasions. They have to do with the, uh, uh, they, they change as the legislative purposes are accomplished and we move on to new legislative purposes. Much in the discussion stage as far as our position on the uh, We did not discuss that. Uh, uh, Mr. Nixon mentioned uh, budgetary problems. He mentioned uh, the possibility of fund more funds being available as the uh, Vietnam conflict was brought to an end, but we did not get into detailed budgetary discussions. Well, we're very deeply interested in the various proposals for economic development of the ghetto. At this point, as you may know if you follow those closely, these proposals are the subject of very great debate and, uh, and everybody has a different view as to which one's going to work the best. <coughs> we have had some meetings pulling together the key people concerned with this and uh, we, have not yet we have not yet put before our steering committee a position on this matter, so I cannot, I cannot answer you at this time. But I, w I would say. We did not ask for any commitments of any kind. We were just engaged in a in a very loose exploration of our common objectives, and uh, that uh, simply didn't come up. I'd like to simply say that the, uh, it was arranged between uh, the President and Mr. Gardner and the members of the Coalition Executive Steering Committee, if they don't understand, yeah. uh, that uh, they would individually and in some pairs be in touch with me as well as with him on some specific things that we would like to learn more of their views on, and that the President-elect concluded the meeting by asking that, uh, that, that, that a meeting between the steering committee of the Urban Coalition and the Urban Affairs Council 
be arranged in the very early weeks of the administration to meet in the cabinet room. He is, will be chairman of the council, of course, and which side of the meeting.